Rahman Rahim. Ya mama kwa baba mam online TV, mam online radio. Ebi sa ta mwe dia no bia pre, bia fona kunya, bia kusoni TV, bia chini phone. Oh show your life. Eh wo Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Telegram, Skype, and Snapchat. Wo kwa ho anwa seche mam online, wo benya yen. So why you busy na say wo pese utie yen, eh wo wasumu a eh online radio. Ko radio.net, u Google Play Store. Tune in radio, modern Ghana, online radio box. Nesechi, mam radio one. Mam radio one. Ubenya yen eti ye life. Ube to me, after ye wa bra program, no air course, we be out here as ye na ya chim, and as ye be awas, and we say be an hour beside ye. Official studio line say 0246751175. Oh, a question be a fudge media ye be di mwa. Fafaso, a voice note, test message, and our voice call or video call. Or the buy a bit soon, a waha. A mamma line and a salamon and Mithrin Foundation Akabum a shed you could afford in Yankani in Wusia. And more a bit my fire so a mamma for a boy, Nisha La or number boy. We have our sponsors to be Musa phones at a doom, Kumasi and Habitat Air Conditions and Engineering Works at Abwa Wunima. Who could be? And as a work a crabby as a nasset. It's so wedding about one of my for moody brain. Saraka was put to me to me so a broke crunky to any crunky sim. Bibi and so any bean or muscle or two is so Emma. Okay, a website now, mam gh online dot org. Mam gh online dot org. O r g. Ubenya and so it's here. Okay, right side on Abu Mam Radio One. Odo this will be clear. Boom say. It's true. Come a come a cassa. I can't wait. Demo hanging on. Ubit me and a beat here in case one messy program. Be answer so. Yeah, the two playback na when you be at ye and for more by insha Allah. Mr. Sir, open sa will sponsor program be a will fear her. They also say open studio lines in 0246 751175. 0246 751175. And our 0200 773367. Will be a casa will fear muhebia. Open sa will sponsor na F. Do do a bit na waya ye mo send videos na enko ba bia na ya tini ni na samu sponsor ya ne bi editor power editor data editor studio equipment ni e bo amadwuma die akọ na ni please let's go for a commercial break when we are back you take us to go pass o sacha ne ni hu pa ba nya ko pon cha this about mamu radio allahu akbar nam nam wallahi al jannah to fidaus is our limit insha allah amen GH, Jemsa in UCC, UEU, and Akrotkans, Ghana Muslim Mission, The Living Islam, Islamic Gallery, Sense of Islam, Mujahid Deans, Fans of Guidance TV, Fans of um, Why You Should Accept Islam, Focus on Islam, Jihad Enough, Defend the True Word, Mam Online HQ Pages 1 to 10, Mam Online in Egypt, Libya, Germany, and Togo, Muslim Access Movement, Mam Dawa KTK, I do Muslimers of Mam, I do Muslimers of Twanse, and Mam Fek, is a Mam Fek Islamic Hospital Fund. We wouldn't start this program without thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for this gift of, for bringing us to this um, discussion. Um, today we are discussing problem of the youth problems of the youth. But before then, I have Malama Maridia here who is going to take us through. But before then, let's go for a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. Malama Rashid at Abdul Mumin. Malama Rahmat Swala. Malama Mardia Mustafa. Ewo ideal Muslim show. Kwesia Debiya. Anopa Nondu. Ewo Mam Online. Radio and TV. Insha Allah. Welcome back once again. Salam alaikum. Um, today we are discussing problems of the youth. 
we the youth we are discussing our problems right here on mama line and the program is ideal muslim as show um please don't forget to catch us live on all our social media handles and also you can tune into radio.net and all those and um, visit our website www.mamgonline.org and you can also contribute or support this program on 0246-751-175 and also 0200-773-367. Um, Malama Maria is ready to take us through this topic. Malama Maria. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسولنا محمد وآله وصحبه أجمعين رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لوكدة من لساني يفقه وقولي الحمد لله فأنا لا ويكيند and I thank Allah or we all thank Allah for our life today and for being able to meet with our audience today to inshallah our topic today will be a reminder for both myself you and then all those out there because we are all part of the youth yes. so we see some of the problems we are having as youth and then we will see to how we are able or how we can, we can be able to our, um, yes solve these problems as okay. youth okay. so so um why why did you choose this topic oh okay like personally um um i'm someone who is so much concerned about like what people are doing okay. especially when i look into my community i like sometimes i feel i feel very very sad it's not because i'm perfect i know even myself i'm not uh -huh. perfect yes. i'm having a problem i'm having a lot of problems and i'm striving to solve these problems but then when you look at the community today what the youths are doing is like Islam has been lifted from the community. I don't know. And Allah is so, so merciful to us, the Ummah of Prophet Muhammad, that although we do all sorts of things, He still forgives us. Because if you compare ourselves with the other Ummahs, like when you take, for example, the Ummah of Prophet Lut, just because of one thing, which is happening today, because of homosexuality, they were punished there and then, but then today, don't uh, doesn't homosexuality happen in the community? Of it, it happens, happened. but then Allah still pardons us because of His mercy and because of His promise to uh, Prophet Allah and He was Allah. A lot of things are happening. When you look at the story, um, if you look at into the Ummah of Prophet Nuh alayhi salatu wasalam. like people abusing him, a lot of things. And when you look at today too. People um, boldly sit on social medias, on the television, and then say any bad thing about the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and even about the the our Creator, which is very very distant. Like it is breath breath it is uh, some yes, it is heartbreaking. But then still, you see a person will say this and then he will freely move although we know he he has sinned to allah yeah. but then when he repents allah will forgive him okay. and true with all this allah still doesn't punish us as if we see a raw punish or, or something we can say there are a lot of signs like this thing that happened in circle one time ago a very long time i think in 2015 or so the this thing when there was a flood and then there was fire on top and then the water is look, look at when you look at this thing it is a great sign that we really have to repent and when you look at that community what is happening at that community then you have to know that really there are things going on and allah is really not happy with it we have to see to how we can repent and then a lot of things so, so do you see today, any essence of treating this topic the, there is a lot of essence okay that's what i'm saying it is going to serve as a reminder okay. for us and as, also as a warning for us here and even those out there i don't know how other people will take it but we human beings we are not perfect yes. and even the quran says well like if you remember remembering each other like it's a good it's good it's something good for believers 
so at least once in a while we have to be reminding each other and this youthful age is the most important age in a human life because when you are a child we assume like your sins are not being written or you are still learning you are still learning what life is when you are at the old age to like there is nothing for you like all your limbs are already dead so what you are preparing towards is i'll say your grave okay old yeah. people that is what they are yeah. they say by the way you are the youthful age this is the uh, the the this thing the age that will either that will show you or that will Decide. classify you whether you are someone who is being successful or you are not being successful okay. In both terms, in whether you are going to gender or health, it is your youthful age, because your old your old age cannot like decide whether you are. Why? Yeah, no, because for old age, you know, so I don't know whether you you observed old people. Mostly old people, what they are, they think most about is that they are about to die. Yeah, yes. And then even there are some stages in old age that when you reach even. Like the behaviors, you become like a baby again. So, like you do things freshly. Like they don't hold you responsible for a lot of things. Even okay. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, in one of his hadith said, "We should make good use of, use of three things before three things." And then he said, "Your life before your death, then your money or your wealth before your poverty, and then your youthful age before your old age." Okay. Because you have to make good use of these things. If you don't make good use of your youthful age, that will also guarantee or show how you'll be in your old age. So I see like um, this topic has a, a very great essence. It has a great essence because the youth today, what we are doing is, uh, is heartbreaking and then we have to see to ourselves we have to sit back think about it and then look into the history and see what people did and then they were punished and then let's see what we are doing today but we are still being forgiven meanwhile we are not changing we are just continue to do it which is very bad okay. so um well, what are the challenges we are facing as youth there are a lot of challenges, a lot of challenges we the youth are, full, uh, are facing. Okay. And I would like to talk about just few of them. Yeah. And these few of them is like, I think they are the basics. Okay. They are the basics of these challenges. They are the basics. So like if I say my first point or what I want to elaborate on first is ignorance. Ignorance. Yes, ignorance. Like Ignorance of the religion, let me say, ignorance of the Islamic religion, what it is about. You don't know what your religion is about, and you don't force yourself to go and learn it, which is very bad, because when Allah created human beings, he knew, of course, we cannot just come and sit in this world, and then we will be doing, or we will be guiding ourselves. Is so there, he brought down rules. That are ignorant about our religion, or some knows about it or oh, the ignorance is, is the basic thing that uh, we are not facing. all youths are ignorant okay. there are that's why i'm saying it is a problem to youth but even if it is a problem there are still people who are excluded even the youths who are excluded but then ignorance is a basic problem for youths for youths like then i'm, I'm citing the example like those who don't want to learn the religion and then or they don't know the religion and they are not willing to learn the religion. Why am I saying like this is the basic? Because Allah created you as a human being. He knows what is in your head and he knows what you will do when you grow up and everything. That's why he what? He brought out the Quran through Prophet Muhammad as a guidance or a rule to rule you. And now as a human being, now fine you are created or you are being born. And then you don't know what the rule is, the rule of living is. Then what do you think will happen? Okay. Of course, like you will be living in her avazadly way, like, like oh no, we don't know whether you are moving forward, whether you are moving backwards, whether you are moving sideways, or you will just be like you are just moving on because you don't know what is 
what 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 is guarding this particular thing you want to do which is very bad so like um like when we say um this thing um when we say um you are a youth at least me to me at least um, if you don't before, know anything that, at, at what age do you, we classify you as you are part of the youth i think from the it's from teen age to like the um what is the name how do you call the retirement age okay i will call it as a youth youthful age okay. even when you look into the circular system we also have the working age like under economics when we look we have working age and this working age is the youth age because you your limbs are working you'll be able to do a lot of things okay you know some people they wait and then they like they relax they don't go and learn they don't force themselves in doing anything but when they grow old and they like they are now seeing the grave ahead of them okay. because although youth youth people or the youthful age it is also die and then children die but then when you grow up and you become old you know that the only the next step in your life is it's death, death. Okay. but then when you are a youth you know maybe you can grow old you don't know maybe you will die or you grow but you have a little hope in you that you can reach the age of 50 or 65 yes but then when you pass the age of 65 the only thing you'll be thinking about is death and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say hey, hey, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says Like seeking knowledge is obligatory on every Muslim. So as a youth, you are a Muslim. What is preventing you from seeking this knowledge? And if you don't seek this knowledge too, and that is what will make you like lose a lot of things in life. Seriously, if you, yes, because um if you are ignorant it's like you you still look like a child i don't know really? if yes ignorant people if you uh, an ignorant ignorant person is talking uh-huh. and you look at the ignorant i'm not saying like you are well lettered in secular education or something okay. like someone who knows at least his religion who has ever read something not only english maybe you you know arabic you know what is going on in life when a person is talking, you know that oh, this person knows what she, she he or she is saying. But then if the person like is ignorant and he is not lettered in any whether being it the Islamic wise or secular wise. Does that mean some of our parents are um, how how should I put this? You are saying that person speaks like a child or something. Mm. Does that mean some of our parents are like that because not all our parents um, knows about our religion oh, okay not all our parents knows about our religion yes. no okay we will say but that's you know, why you know it's, 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 it really happens yeah. that's why i my topic was the challenges of the youth today and excuse me to say not all of them but then parents who don't know anything about their religion when i say anything meaning fatiha even fatiha you don't know even Fatiha, you don't know. You don't know Allah said this and that. You don't know how to say Alhamdulillah for something. Oh, you don't know how, how to say when or how to say, oh, eh, it is from Allah. When something happens. Meaning you don't know anything. You are ignorant of everything. Okay. And excuse me to say, you know, this kind of parents, you, like, I don't know how to say it. The, cho- the kind of children they give birth to, like, they are also somehow like blank really yes do you know you can give birth to someone and that person will be the one to change you or the one to um take you through your religion it can happen it It can happen it can happen but then if you are going to look at the distance the percentage Mm -hmm. if the mother maybe when you were young you couldn't get access to education and then later on when you grew up you try your best. You you try your best to learn this Fatiha and there's some basic basic Islamic knowledge. When you give when you give birth to your child, you know the essence of education, and that is when you will take the child to to study. Yes. And that is when, if the child is able to finish, he will come and teach you. Yeah. Uh, excuse me, I'm taking my mother for example. 
when she was um listening very or uh, i would say when she was growing up she wasn't well lettered i would say maybe she went to makarita but she wasn't very very educated as in when it comes to maybe she knows a lot of sura or something but then because she knew a little bit maybe i would say fatiha which is very important for a muslim to know and then these short surahs short short surahs in the the last ending of the quran yeah. these short surahs she know that and she know that allah exists she listen to sermons because she can't read she just listen to the what they say in hausa because she understands hausa very well because of this she really understands that education is important and she is striving all her possible best doing all her possible best to push you in school later on she will sit and tell you maybe if you are you are being sluggish and you don't want to go to school she will sit and tell you you look at me i wish i i i am now you or i wish during our time we got this opportunity to go to um school or to go and learn like this why because she has seen what like what education the little education she had what it did to her and then the fact that she couldn't learn a lot what she also faced in future so you see so you see mostly parents who know the importance of education they they are always forcing and pushing their children to go and then learn why because they know a little bit of education but then if the the person doesn't know anything you are ignorant you are blank just like a white paper your head is just dumb then i don't think you know the importance of education to the point of even pushing your child to go and be educated okay. so right now we've discussed our challenges that we the youth are facing mm-hmm. what are um, the things we can do to conquer these challenges like there are a lot of things we can do like when you grow up maybe from a ch- from when you are a child your responsibilities are on your parents yes. you they have to teach you and this um or take you to a uh, um, school and then they have to get you educated and all that yeah. but then it may happen your parents will not take you or like there will be a problem at home and then due to that they will not be able to cater for your education okay. but then when you grow up like you reach the youthful age now you know certain responsibilities are on you on you yourself i'm not asking you to look for money and then go to this thing school to learn anything at all but at least know what the world is about go at least know what your religion is about okay. go to makaranta for makaranta if you have paid kra or maybe alka if you have paid kra maybe a day will just be one cd you have to fight for yourself because um when you learn this um knowledge you, it is going to benefit you in future not anyone else okay. we have to know or we have to learn how to sacrifice certain things for certain things look at when you look at some of the questions people ask on platforms and then the youth ask today is like is so this thing annoying sometimes i'll say it is so annoying like someone asks on a platform that since allah say allah created us and then he said we should pray he should have made us pray like he's asking a question he should just make us pray maybe 10 times a day and tell us not to perform ablution yes it's a question see somebody asked this question on a platform that allah should have made us pray 10 times like i don't know whether he was suggesting or he was asking a question the or the question or, is this like a suggestion i think it's a suggestion he wanted to give but then what do you think brought this up is he not ignorant one he doesn't know the essence of the ablution he is doing even the prayers he doesn't know the essence and two three two he doesn't know who allah is who allah really is because you cannot sit there in your house and be saying all these suggestions as a youth you can get up you have limbs you have legs you can go and then go and learn and you are sitting in your home giving these suggestions okay so are um, are these beggars on the roadside are they to be classified as um, lazy ones no like okay you you are moving because i'll come to then my next point too will be laziness okay. so inshallah okay, like when we reach there then i'll this thing so for the ignorance like i think basically that is it 
that is why I'm saying it is the basic of everything. Because when you look at today, what the youth are doing, one, Allah said in the Quran, don't like talk about zina, don't go near zina. But what is happening today? Then what do we say? What do we say about this? Is it that? Is it that like? Um, this one I will not say is ignorance because some people they know, but they are feigning ignorance. They are trying, they are faking. The, it's like they don't know. Okay. Some people too, they don't know. I have come across someone like that. She doesn't know that this thing is is haram. Okay. She doesn't know. So you see, a person like this, like how will you start with a person? She doesn't even know that zina is haram. Fatiha is a problem. Kulula is a problem. Then you as a person, like, what is your purpose in life? You don't have purpose in life. So ignorance, seriously, is a very big disease or a very big element if someone is having it. Because if you Allah has created you and given you brain and then mind and then in the Quran, whenever he recites or you recite the verse, you come across Afalat Tazakirun, all these things, he's telling you, use your mind. And one thing is, if you know a little bit, even just a, a, a dot of knowledge, if you know it, then you will be able to use your mind to know that this thing, it cannot be good, this thing is bad, this thing is good, this thing is, uh, it is normal. I don't know, it is normal. If like you try your best or you 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 just give a step to knowledge then all the the knowledges will just come to you just like that so is it our fault is it the youth our fault being ignorant somehow it is our fault because now at the um, i would say education has been made very very easily you can just sit at your home and then you'll be able to learn a lot of things using the mobile phone our mothers didn't get such opportunity and you will see a little boy today holding mobile phone you go on social media for a very long time but then you cannot use this phone if you cannot use this phone to learn something then you are making it yourself because when you go to play store there are a lot of things you will get there talking about your religion this fake sira everything about it is on this phone okay what if the person doesn't know doesn't know that maybe my phone can be used for this or that. They stand up. There are a lot of malams around. Okay. They are, they give they preach. They give a lot of this thing. Look at when you look back into our this thing, our leaders or scholars. When you look at Imam Shafi like this, Imam Shafi okay. during his time there wasn't mobile phone, but then he traveled like less as him from Medina to Mecca just to go and then learn from Imam Maliki. So he went and sat with him, he served him just to learn. So what is making us, this? Uh, like, what is so, making the youth today so to be... is it that we, the youth, are being arrogant or why? It's the laziness too that I'm coming to. It okay. is because we are very lazy. We don't want, like, we are not having the passion in, in upgrading ourselves. Like, we always feel reluctant to things that will really benefit us and then we do unnecessary things. We just put all our mind to unnecessary things like this keep fit, running, playing football, base, you'll be in the base and you just say unnecessary things, talk, backbite, and then like just unnecessary things. You, you don't have the edge to go and learn. That is what is causing this ignorance. And laziness to on its own is also a challenge facing the destiny, the youth, which is making them fall into. You see, somebody may not be ignorant. The person is well lettered, well versed, but then he is lazy. Okay, before we come to the laziness, let me read some comments people are giving us. Um, confidence sec ba says, Masha Allah. Um, King Abdullah the last also says Masha Allah. Hamida Fusseini is also saying Masha Allah. And Humble Lion, our top fan, is also here saying Salam Alaikum Wa Alaikum Salam. Abdul Salam family, why one cover face, one don't cover face? Um, <laughs> we, we <laughs> um, they are all Islam since we've all dressed decently right here, we don't have. Our hairs here, right? We we have our um, 
Islamic way. We've dressed Islamic Islamically, so we can take it that way. And um, thank you all for streaming, catching us live right here on Mama Online. Don't forget, you can tell people to join us live right here on this discussion. It, it is very important to join this discussion. Um, the the topic today is youth our problems the the problems we the youth are facing today so join us live right here on mama line and the program is ideal muslim show so Mala, you okay. were talking about continue this. yes so my next point here is laziness okay. when we say laziness what is laziness like you being idle when there are lots of work to do okay. and as a muslim or as a woman there is no way you will say there is no work to do always there is work to do Always, always, no matter the circumstance, there is something you can do. Okay. Because um, when you look at today, our youth today, you see someone sitting there idly. Maybe the person doesn't have money to eat food from more, um, from um, for afternoon and evening, okay. but then he's sitting there. I don't know what they, they normally wait for, but then you see later on, when the day is getting to an end, then a the person will now start moving from a person to a person or from door to door, trying to beg for like something to eat. Maybe oh, I didn't eat something and I need something. Then what were you doing during all those while when you were sitting there? What were you doing? There are lots of work you can do today. And around the lot today, when you look at today, some of our youth who are like, who are really hard working and they really want to do something. They've made any work or anything you do as a work. Like during I'll say previously, was there something like this baller? But um these people who take baller away no, and they say no, no. was there something like this Mr. Gas? I don't know whether you are there. There are some people who take gases and then they'll go and fill and then they'll bring it to you at home and then you'll give them money. Okay. Was there a job then like this? No. But any opportunity, any small thing, they are making it into a work. But then today, when you look, or when you are going through this road, maybe from Sofolai to Abu Abu, when you reach Grove Room, you you will see some beggars there. So mostly me, I don't blame those who are handicapped, like the blind and then the others. But those holding them, those who are leading them, no, like why not put them down, go and work, and then come and fend for them. And there are a lot of things you can put yourself into. As a youth, you are having the limbs. You can work and you can do anything. And if you are holding him and leading him like that, meaning that also means that when you grow up, maybe that is what you will let somebody do to you. Because now you are not putting yourself in any uh, this, anything, any labor to bring out uh, uh, like income or something. So we have to see to this laziness we are having in us. And I think, look at today, when you open the listen or when you go onto your channels on the television, you will see these juju people, mm -hmm. those who do the blood yeah. money or so. Yes. They are a lot. They, like, they've taken all the channels. Why? Because now our youth, that is what we are so much in. It, in. Okay. And what is the cause of this? Is it not laziness? Instead of working, if Allah says, before you came to this world, Allah has already written your risk for you. Instead of working, working and then achieving them in a halal what, way. What so if you've tried your possible best in um, getting something done and you've, you've in, in all is to no avail? But then Allah said, in Allah, Allah Allah is with those who are patient. Keep trying. You are not yet dead. You've tried. You've tried your very much best. Still, so keep. Avail. If the meaning your best is not in, enough, so continue trying other people's best. So the time he or she is trying, maybe that is the time they've engaged themselves into this begging thing and all that. So do you mm. classify those people as lazy? They are still lazy. Begging mm. is not a work. Okay. Ah, keep trying like how. Okay, even if you are trying, and then when you are going to beg, don't you buy the destin, the the calabash you use for begging. And even if that one, putting that one aside, are they not people who are looking for people to just carry this thing, this thing, sand and blocks for them just to give them money? 
Let's go back to the story and um, the life of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. His father once came to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and then he told him that he should give him money. He is he is angry, like he wants money. The Prophet asked him, like, don't you have anything at all? He said, no, he doesn't have anything. He fed him there and he told him, go to the market and carry things for people. He carried things for people and then they gave him money. So he had a little bit of money. The prophet took the money, divided the money into two. He asked him, use this half and go and buy food stuffs for your family. And then he went and bought it. And then he told him, use this half to and go and buy an axe. So when he went and bought the axe, he... Like he put, kept this in the stick in it and he gave it to him and told him he should go into the forest and cut firewood and bring it and sell it to people to make charcoal. Do you understand? Yes. So if like someone, even a Sahaba, Prophet Muhammad is able to give him this advice, then why will you keep on begging, begging, begging? Why will you even beg? When today there are a lot of works you can just join you can just put yourself in just to make some little little listing lively and you know this man later on in future he became one of the richest companions just with this petty listing so life is sometimes you know you think life is always kicking you down but then it is like it is um guiding you towards your success just that we the youth we are not patient you saw you see a small child a, a, a very a, a child at a very young age or at a very tender age putting himself into these rituals or this frauding and then scamming issue okay. telling lies to people and then stealing their money just in the name of have tried what have you tried okay. if you have tried and you think it's not other people are still trying other people are still trying like um um our fathers today Okay, let's taking my father again as an a, a example. Like he is not a rich man. He is not the someone who is very rich and he's having a lot of children. So but you can see that even from his infancy he was trying and up till now he is still trying. Okay. But then he will sit us today, although we know he is not wealthy and sometimes it's somehow difficult for he will sit us today and tell us, Oh, today you are very lucky because then it wasn't good. But still, he is able to say Alhamdulillah because he thinks today we are able to eat three times a day. What again? So, up, if up to now he is trying and you, a youth, at your youthful age, you think, no, you, you cannot still try, but you want to go and beg or you want to go and enter into this juju and fraud, this thing, then you have a problem. You, you are making mention of... Um Lapses. What are the lapses you are talking about? Uh, okay, um, like the next point I think is lapses in our belief. Okay. Youths. The youth do we have a lot of potholes in our belief. Really? A pers- yes. A, you look like the person believes, but then due to the society or whatever he wishes and desires, he does another thing. Maybe the person is not ignorant, he is well lettered. He he knows he he's having the belief in Allah. He prays five times a day, but then Allah says what? No gambling, no latter crab zina, like a lot of things. Allah says don't do this, don't do that, don't do this, don't. But then because of the society or because of his desire in that thing, he put himself into into the thing, like without regarding all the warnings of Allah. And this is also a great challenge to the youth. And this is one one thing that does not make the that youth or the youth move forward. Like it breaks your spirit even from a, a very tender age, because you cannot disobey Allah and then He will continue or He will let you progress. Really? Why will you? Yes, you cannot there are some disobey. people who does that, but they are they are not. It is a test to them. Okay. Like. It is a, um, I don't know the verse in the Quran, but there is a verse in the Quran which which says, like, there are some people, they will get in this world, but then the hereafter will not be good for them. There are some people, they will not get in this world, but then the hereafter will still not be good to them. Okay. There are some people, too, they will get in this world, and the hereafter will be good to them, and there are some people, too, they will not get in this world, and the hereafter will what, be good to them. So... If you think you are disobeying Allah and you are getting it, it is a test. Like, let's assume those into the juju and 
this blood money also. If you think it is a dis- you are disobeying Allah because you are doing shirk and you think, oh yes, even after doing that, I'm still getting the money. You wait. Maybe if the person is twenty years now, wait twenty years to come. Like he should just picture something or he should wait. He should be patient and just continue enjoying his money. And then see twenty years to come, what will happen to him? You know, like this world and everything has been scheduled to you before you even came into the world. When you and uh, we have the hadith which says when a child is in his mother's womb, the angel come and ask him how many years will you be in this world? How what is the money you will get in this world and everything. There are some people who enter into this juju and they don't get anything. Okay. Why? Because Allah has not put in any risk for you. Really? Yes. And there are some people who enter into the juju and they get money. Why? Because Allah has already allocated that in this world, this is the risk you make. But then in with the juju or without the juju, you will get the money. Do you understand? Yeah. You, you, with the juju or without the juju, you get the money. But what the thing you are lacking is you are not patient to get it in a halal way. You are in a hurry, so you got it in a ram way, okay. which will later be your distraction. So please do you understand what yes, I'm trying to Yes. So we have to be mindful with that. We have to be patient with all that Allah is telling us, the belief, all that the religion is about. Just be patient and then move as it is. And if you are moderate in everything, you will be very happy with the religion. You will just see the religion as a very easy thing to do. Okay. Like, I don't want to go into other people's religion or um, the other sects in Islam. Yeah. But when you look at the simple thing, Allah says, this is the Quran. The Quran is for me. And then the Hadith is there to guide you on how you follow the Quran and everything. And then some people say no. Some people say no. Allah, yesterday I was listening to someone, and then some youth were dead, and that's no. Allah, when Allah created everybody, He gave them a leader. And who is our leader, if I will ask you? Our leader. Yes, as we this Ummah, who is our leader? Is it not Prophet, Prophet Muhammad? Yeah. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? And other Ummahs, they also have their leader. But then some people, some sect in Islam, they are sitting there that they are waiting for their leader. Which leader are you waiting for again? If you ask that Imam Mahdi, who told you Imam Mahdi is your leader? So you see, you are going extremism. This is extremism. Meanwhile, this is the moderate way. Why not pass there? So all these things, they are lapses. You don't know the religion very well, but then you are trying to boast or you are trying to go into extreme. You understand? So we should be moderate and then... Okay, but before we wrap up this discussion, I hope you joined us live right here on Mama Line. The program is I Do Muslim Show, and we were discussing problems we the youth are facing. Before we come and then wrap up, let's go for a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Bra, me did this was your Bible. Kakra. Yeah, yeah, if you mean me, you mean me, and if you mean me, okay. Okay. Now we try. Wait. The Kremlin and Pesce, Medo Fat Test, Kitwebin, the Pato, and Suratel Fatiha, with correct pronunciation, not mean to say, and I, the Kremlin and Pa, and to us. You see, I recommend Rahimaliki, you mean, yeah. Subhanallah, and then a what see, Alhamdulillah, Yerbil Alamin Rahman Rahim, Malik Yubin, Yakin, 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 Yakin,
Party and a kind of waiting. If I say I only be lying in a shaitan regime, the similar Rahman Rahim, no waiting. The other kind of mother kind of who's 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 different. I only be lying in a shaitan regime, the similar Rahman Rahim, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alami, a Rahman Rahim, Maliki Yomi, Yak and Abudu, Yak and Esmaim, Hidina Serot and Mustafim, Serot and Ladina and Anta Alehim, Rayril Mahu, the Alehim, all of them. Wayne, I saw a kind of the Cassie Chiremois, a means of Cassie. And I said, What can you do? And you know, Islam once you have been known to you. If we know what you have, we know what you mean, Sian Islam. Like, no, I'm not going to make a mention of the money. I'm not going to make a channel. Oh, I said, Me, Tina Hanna, you call it Bible. Want to mean Casama quoted by Bubiati and the Bell Batten. But who can correct the book and Messiah mistake? What is it? 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 What is Inshallah. Okay, so welcome back. You are not left behind. You can you can join the wrap up that we are about to do. You can get the discussion to after this program on all our social media handles. Well, I'm out there. <laughs> okay. You wrap up for us? Yes, inshallah. So wrapping up, I also try to advise our youth and myself together that we should pay heed and then like stop wasting much time on unnecessary things which will not benefit us both in this world and the year after. We have to be mindful of what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran in Surah to Allah say well I say in the Lisan Lefi Husay Lila Dina Amanu Amin is to Ali Hat what also be high quota also be sub so by time like Allah is wearing on time and time is very 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 precious because when it moves you cannot like you cannot go back and then bring it back. So whatever you do as any seconds, any minute, it is being recorded. We should be careful. We should just, we shouldn't make uh, uh we shouldn't make a habit or we shouldn't put this habit of sitting on in the base and then doing unnecessary things when we have a lot of things we can do as youth to promote our society, ourselves, our religion and anything they say. We are sitting idly. That's why the Christians and then others and other sects are trying to mislead us and also like look down on our religion. So we have to be careful. We should try our best, go and learn because the future belongs to us tomorrow. If our malams and our elders die today, then if we are also not trying hard to learn and then come and lead the children or the youth of tomorrow, then who are those who will lead them? Meaning we will live in a distraction. So we should be careful and then like be careful with whatever the religion is saying whatever like good you we hear from our elders and then let's take it into habit and then try and then occupy ourselves with useful things and then leave out the unnecessary things okay so, so we should leave out the unnecessary things we've been doing and we've, we we have to be cautioned with the life we are living we shouldn't be lazy um today we are done with the discussion so don't forget to catch us live next week the same time with us right here on mama line the program is i do muslim show um thank you all for watching us um enjoy the rest of our programs wassalam Malama Rashid at Abdul Mumi, Malama Rahmat Swala, Malama Mardia Mustafa, Ewo Ideal Muslim Show, Christia de Bia, and upon Nondu, Ewo Mam Online, Radio and TV, Insha Allah.
Allah, Allah. 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 Allah.